Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a little quick yarn review on Red Heart's new yarn. Now, it's Italian. The names are Italian. I can't really pronounce stuff that well, so if I mispronounce the names, I'm sorry. But it's it's uh, Red Heart, an Italian story. Um, Luce. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that. And it comes in these balls wrapped up with this ribbon and you can see the sequence in it gives it a bit of a sparkle <clears throat> we'll open it up here each one has its own individual tag and its own individual ribbon and it does have the yarn here on the ends so you can find where to start easily okay it is a medium weight four, and I would say that it is a medium weight four. And a uh, recommended hook size is a four and a half millimeter. If I was going to make something with this yarn, I usually never go, I never even look at the recommended hook size. I usually just use my best judgment. That would, would probably, I would probably use a five millimeter. So, I mean, that would, that's just me though. If I was making something with it. Um, and let's see. It's made in Italy. And there are 218 yards per ball. Okay. And um, what it is, it's 46% nylon. 28% acrylic. 28% mohair. And 6% polyester. It's recommended that you hand a wash in cold and lay flat to dry, which is completely understandable since I would say the mohair and the sequence. I always recommend anybody, anyways, any crochet items to wash by hand and lay flat to dry, but that's just me. That's how I usually wash mine. But that is definitely a recommendation for this one. Now, <clears throat> It's really soft, and as you can see, I showed you the sequence, and it has got some mohair in it. I did unroll one and wrap it back up, and try, and I did um, crochet with it a bit. It's not hard to crochet with. It's actually very nice. You know, you probably think it would be hard, but the mohair in it, it's, it's, it's just a light fuzz of mohair, as you can see. But it's really nice. Now, it is a little expensive of a yarn. Um, it's the only place I can find it right now is um, Red Heart's website and it runs $10.99 a ball and you know that's for 218 yards. It is pricey. It's a very nice yarn though. If you're looking for a yarn you know you got a really special project and you're looking for a really nice yarn you know this might be something that you want to look into. It's not a I can tell it's not a cheap made yarn. It's really nice. I mean, it's a huge step up from their Super Saver. It's super, it's, it's, it's very nice. Um, we'll look at the colors here real quick. Now, remember, I can't pronounce these Italian words very well. But, so I'll probably pronounce them wrong. But this one is a vino, which is the red. Um, it's really pretty. It's got a nice sparkle to it. It's a really kind of a brick red colored. And we got this a pretty white. Sparkle's really showing that one too. Um, Bianco. Yep. Probably always notice I squeeze them. When I do reviews, I just always squeeze yarn. It's really soft. It's nice. I love yarns that have a sequence in, uh, or the streamers or the glitter in them. I really like the blingy stuff, and this is nice. The sequins are, you know, it's not heavy sequenced. It's just about right. It's not going to make it look too overdone. Then we got uh, Pietra. I didn't say that right, but it's uh, like a silver. Yeah, and that's pretty. 
It's like uh, you look at it close. It's got a uh, black mixed in it. Silverish black. You see that string of black and then like the mohair is like silver. So gives it that look of a of silver. Very nice. Let's see. And then we got uh, Verde, which is a really, really dark green, almost a teal color. Still got the nice sparkle to it from the sequence. And then we have another gray one, which is a lighter gray. Ah, granito. I guess that's how you say that. Granito. Or granite, I guess. It's a lighter gray. Not so much of a silvery color. As this one is more of a silver. So, got that sparkle. Maybe not quite as much seeing the sequence in this one, I don't think, as you can this one, but it's still still really pretty. Pretty pink. Rosa. It's like a dusty rose, uh, Victorian rose color. I like it a lot. <clears throat> And we got, ooh, ooh, Sabia, Sabia, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It's a sable color, right? You can see a tan. Very nice, a lot of sparkle in that one. Very pretty. Now, that was seven colors. There are actually eight, but I could not get the eighth one as it is sold out on their website, and it has been sold out for a while. But um, it is called, it is a dark blue, and it's called a uh, Nare, the one that's sold out. But if you look on Red Heart's website, you will see it. It's a very dark blue, almost similar to this one, because this is the green one. It's more of a really dark teal, uh, but the dark blue is a little darker than that, so. So that is all of them. I apologize. I could not get that eighth color to show you. I tried waiting, at, waiting it out for a little while to see, but they didn't get it back in yet. So I just went ahead and did the review, and I figured you could probably look on their website and see their colors. Now remember, it is a bit pricey, and I know that $10.99 is quite a bit for only 218 yards. Extremely nice yarn. Um... It would be expensive to make a bigger project with it but like I said if you want a very special project for someone and you don't mind the price I believe this would be well worth it and it would, it's gonna turn a very very nice project um, so let me set them back up here they're all really pretty with that sparkle in them now I just got uh, one of each since they were uh, to show, do the review on. So whatever project I make with them will have to be something small or I will have to use uh, multiple colors in one. But they're all real pretty. There's not one that I don't like. I love every single one of them. I love the sequence, which you probably heard. I've already said a bunch. I really love it. I really, though, favor the white and the red, actually. The white is very clean looking, and it's really sparkly. And I really like that red. So when I make something, I might combine these two and make something during Christmas time, or I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, but I will make something. But like I said, it does crochet up nice. I undid one and crocheted a little bit with it, and then I uh, undid my crochet and tied it back up. So it's very nice. Um, other than the, you can get past the price, I mean, it's 
it's super nice yarn. Um, so I always ask during my yarn reviews, which one's your favorite color? Like mine, I think I have a toss up between the white and the red, but all of them are gorgeous. I wish I could have got that blue. The silver one's really pretty. Victorian little rose one's beautiful. They're all pretty. I, I really can't choose a favorite. I like them all. But if you, which one do you like best? I always like to know. I always uh, read everybody's comments to see which one they like best. If you may, if you do buy any of this though, and you make something out of it, it would be awesome if you post a picture on my Facebook page, because I'd really like to see what you make out of it. You know, if you if you do decide to get this, if you have a really special project and you don't mind paying that extra money for this yarn, I'd really love to see what everybody makes out of it if they decide to get this. <clears throat> and also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss any of my tutorials or any of my other yarn reviews. I really like to do yarn reviews. In the description box I have a link uh, to auto subscribe so you can just click right there and it'll you'll, get, you'll just automatically subscribe and you automatically get updates. So until next time, remember don't forget to tell me which one's your favorite in the comment section below of this video. Have a good day.